Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up Docker on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Docker and the first link which will appear here will be from docker.com. So we are going to click on this link. And once this docker.com website opens, straight away you will see this download Docker desktop option. And we are going to select the Linux option here. So select download for Linux here. So here scroll down a little and you can see the supported platforms and it says docker provides .deb or .rpm packages. So for Ubuntu, we are going to download the .deb file. You can also see uh, this Ubuntu uh, platform. So we are going to click on this Ubuntu or you can also click on this Ubuntu option on the left hand menu. So click one of these options and then you have this install Docker desktop on Ubuntu section. Here you will see the prerequisite of installing the Docker desktop on all these Ubuntu versions. If you are not using Genome desktop, then you need to uh, provide this command to install Genome terminal. Otherwise, you can skip this option. So I'm going to skip this option for now. And then you have the installation steps for Docker desktop. So the first step here is to set up the Docker's package repository. And it says see the first step of this installation link. Okay, so we need to uh, execute the first step, which is provided in this link. Right, so I'm going to just click on this link on the next tab and this is the first step, right? What it does is it set up the Docker's apt registry. So this is the script which you need to execute in order to set up the Docker's apt registry. So I'm going to just copy this uh, whole script and then let me minimize the browser and let me open the terminal. To open the terminal, just press Ctrl Alt T on your keyboard, which is going to launch the terminal. And here we are going to navigate to the downloads directory. So write CD downloads. And here we are going to create a bash script file. So just write a touch command to create a file. And then you can give any name to your bash script. I'm going to name my script as install hyphen docker.sh and then press enter and then when you do ls here you will see this file which is created right now when you uh, write ls hyphen al and then the name of the file which is install docker.sh it's a read write file but we need to make it executable so for that just write chmod plus x and the name of the file which is install hyphen docker dot sh and then press enter and once again when you give ls space hyphen al space install hyphen docker dot sh command which is our file name now it has become executable file now you can open this file in any editor of your choice i'm going to open this file in visual studio code but you can open this file in any editor of your choice. So I'm going to just write code because code is the shortcut for Visual Studio Code and it's going to open this file. So let me give this command. So you can see this file is open in Visual Studio Code editor. Now if you don't have Visual Studio Code, you can just write open and then the file name which is install-docker.sh. In my case, whatever name you have given, just give that name. And then it's going to open that file in the default editor in Visual Studio Code, right? So you can open this file in default editor or Visual Studio Code. The choice is yours, right? So once this uh, .sh file is open in the editor, then you just need to paste the script which we have copied, which is set up Docker's apt registry. So we are going to copy this uh, whole script and paste it into this uh, installed-docker.sh file and then just save this uh, file 
and then we are going to go to the terminal once again let me clear the terminal and then I'm going to execute this file so just write dot forward slash install hyphen docker dot sh which is going to ask you for your Ubuntu's password so provide the password which you use to log into your Ubuntu operating system and once you have given that the password it's going to execute all the commands which are listed in this uh, script so it's going to first execute this first command which is apt get update and then it's going to install ca certificates and curl using apt get install command and then it's going to execute all the other commands here right so just wait for all these commands to finish and once that's done you can see everything is finished successfully we are going to go to the web page of docker so first step we have already done and then we are going to go to this install docker desktop page so this is the first step which we have already executed then we need to download this .deb file so i'm going to click on this deb package link which is going to start the download of this .deb file for docker desktop so once this .deb file is downloaded you will be able to see this file in your downloads folder so this is the file which we have downloaded to execute this file first of all you can see in this third step first you need to give this command which is sudo apt get update and then we are going to install docker desktop using the second command so let me give this first command really quick and then press uh, enter to execute this command once that's done we are going to give this second command which is sudo apt get install and then the name of your deb file right so give the second command and then press enter and once you have given this command it's going to ask you uh, if you want to continue it's going to take 342 megabyte of additional space on your uh, computer just press y and then press enter which is going to install the docker desktop on your Ubuntu operating system so at this point you just need to wait for a few seconds so once that uh, install command is finished docker is installed on your uh, Ubuntu operating system so let me minimize the terminal and everything and then you can go to the show apps section and here you will be able to see the docker desktop icon you can also search for docker desktop and you will see this icon here so just click on this icon to launch docker desktop so here you just need to accept these license terms and conditions so i'm going to click on accept so here uh, docker will ask you to create a docker account so the docker account might be necessary when you want to push your docker images into the docker hub for example so i will recommend you to create a docker account creating docker account is really simple for personal use you can select personal here and then click on create an account otherwise you can also log in with your google or github account i already have an account with docker so i'm going to uh, provide that account and once you are logged into your uh, docker account you will see that it's going to start the docker engine and you will uh, see this kind of docker desktop web page so just wait for a few seconds until you see this kind of uh, interface here so right now I don't have any uh, docker containers running because this is a fresh Ubuntu installation. I also don't see any images here. But when you download some images and run your docker container, you will be able to see all those containers and images here, right? So now let's try to test whether docker is working on our Ubuntu operating system or not. So for that, let me minimize this uh, docker desktop and go to the terminal and let me clear this terminal so first of all let's check the docker version so just write docker space hyphen hyphen version command and it's going to give you the version of docker once that's done to check docker whether it's working or not you just need to give this command which is docker space run space hello world here and then press enter and you can see this command is finished really fast and what it has done so when we ran this docker run hello world command it's going to search for the hello world image and 
first it says unable to find image and if it's unable to find that image it's going to pull this image from the docker hub so it has downloaded that image and then once that image is downloaded it has started the container for the hello world this is how you can test uh, that docker is working or not if you see this kind of message which says hello from docker that means everything is working fine and your docker engine is working correctly once you have uh, started this container when you go to the docker desktop you will see one image which is for hello world and in the containers section you will see that we ran this container few seconds ago right so when we just minimize this uh, menu you can see i have ran this uh, container two minutes ago right so this is how you can uh, test whether docker is working or not so from the next time when you want to pull any image or execute a container you can just use docker uh, run command to fetch that image and then test whether docker is working or not you can also create a docker hub account so you can search for uh, docker hub on your favorite browser and it's going to show this link which is hub.docker.com and once you open this website you will see this kind of web page so when you scroll down a little you will see more documentation about uh, docker hub and what this docker hub uh, does is it will provide the documentation of any image so for example uh, you can see machine learning and AI images, right? So what is the most popular image for machine learning and AI? TensorFlow is the most popular, then PyTorch and all other uh, images. Then you will see trending images of uh, this week. You can see most pulled image and also you can see the popular images for popular databases like Postgre, MySQL and other uh, images. So if you search for any image, for example, Postgres here and then when you click on this uh, Postgres result you will see this most popular image and it says docker official image right and to uh, pull this image you can just copy this command which is docker pull postgre and paste it into your terminal and it's going to uh, just pull this image into your local system when you scroll down you will see all the tags related to your uh, docker image and then you will also see some documentation how you can run this docker image with password and uh, all the other things and then it will also show you how you can use psql for example right so all the documentation is given here also once you create your own custom image you can push that image into docker hub and uh, you will be able to push and pull images from docker and to docker when you have a docker account so you just need to sign in with the same account which you have created for docker so let me log into my docker account and once i have logged into my docker account you can see i have pushed one image which is code bind forward slash hello here so under repository section you can see i have pushed this hello uh, image four years ago right so that is the advantage of uh, creating the docker hub account so this is how you can download and install and set up Docker on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.